One day, a long time ago, I had a revelation, a moment that turned my whole life around. A Gentile believer unfolded the gospel of truth before me. I realized the hard cry of God, whom shall I send and who will go for us? I said, here am I, send me. With that revelation, the passion of my life became outreach. We were only a few Israelis that went out daily to share the gospel of the kingdom with the Jewish people in the streets all over Israel. We were very happy to be fulfilling God's calling for our life. And then there is more outreach. This was a great undertaking and the very beginning of a powerful wave of believers from age 18 to 80 who came from over 20 nations with different doctrines, languages, mentalities, poor and rich, strong and weak, all united under the banner of the gospel. An essential part of our outreach is fellowship. Worship is studying God's word. And of course, there is no real outreach without opposition. It is painful, but you understand where they are coming from. And you cannot help but to love them and forgive them. And just like Yeshua from the cross, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Throughout all that position, I have learned that for everyone who wants to persecute us, there are tens of thousands who want to hear us. The book of Acts truly continues. After the gospel reaching the end of the earth, from Jaffa, it is coming back to Jaffa, thanks to the saints from the nations, in accordance with the wisdom and the counsel of God who promised, I will provoke Israel to jealousy with the Gentile world. God has trusted into our hands a house three minutes walk from where Peter had a vision. And that house, after 30 years of perseverance, endurance, faithfulness, sleeping on the table, under the table, three showers, three toilets for groups of 40, 50, and more people, with the mosquitoes and all the rest that really have uh, been no small trouble to us, we felt as if we're coming to the end of our limit. But God and His wisdom have seen our faithfulness for all these many years. And you know what the Lord says, be thou faithful in the small things and Come, I want to show you what now God has trusted into our hands. Let's see what God has done for Trumpet. This is the new office for Trumpet of Salvation to Israel. This is the new worship hall. You can use it for conferences, teaching, outreach events, concerts, and reconciliation among Jews, Arabs, and Christians. This is the new kitchen and dining room. These are the guest rooms. There is accommodation for over 100 guests. Right in the middle of Tel Aviv, Jaffa, close to the beach in the most strategic location in Israel, and all to serve God and share the gospel of our risen Lord. We call it Gilgal because in ancient history, Gilgal was the entrance to the promised land for God's covenant people. And now I pray and trust 
that Gilgal will be the entrance to the kingdom of God, where many people will be born of God's spirit. I trust that God will fill this place with holiness, with life, with love, with joy and peace, with his spirit. We see Gilgal as a point of unity. I came to Israel because I love the idea of saying to the Jewish people, thank you for giving me Jesus, my Savior. Thank you for giving us the Messiah. And to work with the people, to share the love that I have of Yeshua with the, with the uh, Jews and the Arabs and anyone else that wants to hear. And I was so blessed that I was allowed to pray uh, sometimes with these Jewish people. Yes, Yeshua is your Messiah, but we can't bring you your Messiah. You brought it to us. We have salvation from the Jews, from your Messiah is a Jew. And I feel so privileged. My life has got so rich inside. You can't imagine. Well, to me, that was the climax of the trip. Uh, especially the uh, three soldiers that uh, Yaakov spoke with. Uh, one was Jesse, the commander, and uh, he was very moved by, by the trumpet team, the singing to him. Goosebumps, he gets goosebumps. It's the most moving part. I had a chance to share with several soldiers, 20-year-olds, uh, who some of them knew the Tanakh, and I was able to share some of the prophecies. Uh, from the Old Testament and to show that Yeshua is the Messiah. Uh, but there was just a, a sense of being, being part of the encouragement to the Israeli army. I think, I think I will be a stronger evangelist, a deeper thankfulness for being a tiny, tiny, tiny part of the Book of Acts. <laughs> the Book of Acts continues. I think you should come here to see the Jewish people themselves, the Israel, because the country itself is a miracle of God. Everything here is about God, about His people, about His word, His promises. We stand there and we start to sing. And, and I look in the eyes of the people and I'm really, wow, I was really touched of them. And I saw there in these eyes a, a, a deep desire of something. They so want to find yeah, Yeshua. Yeah, for me it was a really great time to be here with the Trumpet of Salvation, to go to the streets, to talk to all the people. It was, was amazing to see how God is, is touching the heart of the people here in Israel, how God is, is changing His people. I truly encourage you to come out to Trumpet of Salvation Ministries. Come, get teaching from Yaakov in the morning. Go out, go to the beaches during the day to go witness to the people of Israel. Go to the market to go speak the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to the people. It's truly an experience you'll never forget in all of your life. I can't wait to get back to tell everyone in the United States about the great experiences, the great times, the great teaching, the great wisdom and revelation you get from a man that's been out there doing it for years upon years upon years. This is a ministry that will continue to grow because it's a ministry that is based on God's order to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Yeah, pray more with Korean, my friends, and then I want to bring my friends here, <laughs> yeah. You've absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Just come to Gilgal. I would recommend and, and, and encourage you to come out to Gilgal, to come to Israel, to Tel Aviv, and to encourage Jacob's heart and to be involved in the work of the Lord and to be to be blessed richly of the Lord, you know. And come to Trumpet of Salvation to Israel. Come to Trumpet of Salvation to Israel. Come to Trumpet of Salvation to Israel. More and more people are glued to the internet. If this is where they are, we are going there to reach them. Our God continues to bless our media department. And as you can see, we're in a process of building a studio from which we're going to produce programs for television across the globe, believing will be a blessing to the Christian community as well as to Israel. 
The film which we promised you is ready. It is finished. And uh, we really want you to take a look at a promo and stay in prayer with us that this film indeed will make a difference among God covenant people. יימח שמו וזכרו, ראשי תיבות שלו, לנוצרי הם קוראים יהודי משיחי, אלא נוצרי שמתחפש ליהודי! החיים לא הגיעה העת, לראשונה מזה אלפיים שנה, לספר על ישו לא מפי מאמיניו הגויים, אלא מאחיו בני עמו, ישראלים דוברי עברית כמוהו, לא בנכר, אלא כאן על אדמת ארץ ישראל, מקום הולדתו ומותו. האם ניתן לומר שהאפיפיור הינו באמת ממשיך דרכו של ישו? או שמא הוא רחוק ממנו כמרחק מזרח למערב? והכנסייה הקתולית? האם החיבוק שלה אינו חיבוק דוב? האם לא בגדה בישו כאשר רדפה את היהודים? ואנחנו, היהודים, האם מוצדקת שנאתנו אל התלוי? או שמא גם אנחנו עשינו לו עוול ורצח אופי כאשר התייחסנו אליו כאל בן חורג, דחינו אותו ושלחנו אותו אל זרועות הגויים? והממסד הרבני, והסנהדרין של אז, האם פסקה כהלכה כאשר דנה אותו למוות ומסרה אותו לרומאים? או שיכול להיות שעיוותה את הדין, האמת והצדק? ישראל הרמב"ן ואחרים הדגישו. משיח מת אינו משיח. לא יכול להיות שאדם שמתיימר להיות גואל והוא מת ולא גאל את העם, הוא המשיח. זה, 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 זה סתירה מיני ובי. אם הוא המשיח, אז הוא צריך ליישם את המשיחיות בחייו. לא עשה זאת, הוא מת, אין הוא משיח. זו איננה עדות לכך שהוא משיח שקר. הוא לא משיח דוידי כזה שצריך לנצח מיד. לא, הוא צריך לסבול ולהיהרג. והקטסטרופה הזאת של הרג המשיח היא שלב הכרחי בתהליך הגאולה. אז לידת בתולין או לידה טבעית? יש הוא בן נואפת או בן אלוהים? ממזר או קדוש? הוא לעג להתעסקותם בדברים טפלים ולא בעיקר. מסננים את היתוש ובולעים את הגמל. נותנים מעשרות ממינתא ושבט וחמון, ומזניחים את הדברים החשובים יותר שבתורה. את הצדק, את החסד ואת האמת. אז אותה... אותו... רבי, שהסתובב בכל הגליל עם ה... חסידים השוטים שלו. אל תקרא לי רבי. הרבנים הפרושים הם שאוהבים להתהדר בתואר רבי. כל עם ישראל חברים ואחים זה לזה. הגדול צריך דווקא לשרת את הקטן, ולא להפך. כי המרומם את עצמו יושפל, והמשפיל את עצמו ירומם. איש לא שאר אז כי נרו של יהודי זה מהגליל. התלקח כתבערה ועתיד יהיה להשפיע על גורל האנושות במשך אלפיים שנה. וככל הנראה, עד סוף הדורות. Are you ready to be part of God's salvation plan? Are you willing to serve God and bring the gospel to Israel, to the true first and also to the Arabs? We here at Trumpet of Salvation to Israel invite you with all of our hearts. Whether you are 18 or 80, we know that the Lord will be able to make great use of you. We know that you will find your place here 
and you will be blessed as you bless with the people of Israel. If you feel that the Lord doesn't call you to share the gospel, maybe he calls you to pray. We all know that prayer moves mountains. We all know that without prayer, we cannot do anything. So if you are called to pray, come. Come join us in our efforts. Be on your knees while we share the gospel. And we know that the Lord will open the heavens. Whether you come to Israel for prayer or for evangelism, or you come to a fellowship with us and encourage us, we need your help. The Lord has called us for a great task and we need your faithful prayer and support as we never did before. So thank you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for supporting us. Now we live in a time that Jews and Gentile believers together serve the Lord. We together can change the world. We together can change the face of Israel. We can bring salvation with the help of God. So don't stop praying. Don't stop being with us on the way. Thank you.